drought took a toll on mountain farms this year, and already we're looking at another potentially devastating dry spell heading into the new year. News 13's Ashley Searles is in the Rutherford News Center. And Ashley, if it's too dry already, is that an early sign that it's going to be a tough year for farmers? Well, it's still early, but a winter drought like this, if it keeps up for the next couple months, would mean that farmers and in turn consumers would feel the hit by summer. I think the sad thing is it could affect the people more, it could affect the customers more than it will affect us. You know it's serious when the farmer is worried about the consumer. Well, people still have to eat. In 2013, it may just cost more. After a too hot summer, a too dry fall, and a break in October, now western North Carolina is in the middle of a drought again, with Polk County getting just a tenth of its normal rainfall in November. We are glued to the weather station. Lots of goodies. I know. Rosa Pancheson runs Aikenback Acres Farm and works at the Mill Spring Food Co-op. Well, we're trying to hold the prices, um, but I can't predict. It may have to go up. Less rain now mainly threatens meat prices. If winter grass doesn't grow, farmers need to buy hay, upping the overhead and creating a price bump you'd see by summer. All that stress from the drought, stress from now, stress on a redrought. We haven't gotten our regrowth. Right now, it's early enough in the winter that it could still rain enough for crops planted in the spring to be okay, but it's getting close. It just keeps draining more and more moisture out of the soil. So in the spring, when you do get rain, the soil is so hard and dry, most of it will just run off before it soaks in. Looking towards the spring, uh, right now, it's just like every year, a farmer plants his crop and then doesn't know what he's really fighting until it starts to happen. Farmers today told me it's been a deceiving fall, a lot of cloudy days but never rain. This month and the weeks leading into January are going to be pivotal. Live in the Rutherford News Center, Ashley Searles, News 13.